I started a brand new Clash Royale account to see how much progress I could make without spending any money. And today, we have 24 hours to achieve these four goals. Otherwise, I will delete the account and start over. Which means we need to get at least 3,500 trophies to get the first guaranteed legendary chest. Welcome to my free-to-play account challenge. So we started things off by beating the tutorial and naming the account, and then we were off on our journey, making steady progress, pushing all the way to 1,500 trophies in under three hours. Ooh, a new achievement, battle wins level one. Goblin Hut has been destroying me recently, so I wanna throw that in there. Go upgrade the Goblin Hut. This card is very, very powerful as well. That should be King level nine. Yes, let's go. King level nine, and it unlocks. Oh, 25,000 star points for free. With our newly upgraded Goblin Hut, we pushed all the way to Arena six. Unlocking our first epic card and we got lucky enough to get the witch which ended up being super clutch because another card that unlocks in Pekka's playhouse is the Pekka and we are running a giant deck. Ah, there's the Pekka. See, this is why the skeletons are a great choice. Look at this. They swarm and they destroy that Pekka. So even though the Pekka is a phenomenal counter for a giant, by throwing the witch in there, knowing that we would start facing Pekkas, we were already ready to go against that Pekka. I mean, it didn't make a huge difference in that interaction. If you can swarm and destroy the Pekka, on your push, that means you don't even have a counter push to worry about. Because typically, if you go a giant into a P.E.K.K.A., if the P.E.K.K.A. survives, now you're in defensive mode. But by using that Witch, we destroy the P.E.K.K.A., we can stay on offense mode, we can keep applying pressure and keep the momentum up, and as a result, we haven't lost the game yet, so I'm pretty happy about that. Hey, call me a chicken. So at this point, we're about four hours in and already almost halfway to our trophy goal, but we were still missing all four of our personal challenges. Otherwise, I had to delete this account. So it was time to get one off of our list. Go ahead here, join a clan so I can start requesting cards and hopefully improve my progress. Oh, I don't meet the requirements. So I messaged the clan leader to lower the trophies and then left to put my kids to sleep, which ended up costing me a valuable hour off of our clock. Thankfully, it was enough time to get into the clan. Let me in, please. Then, and after winning a few games to pass the time, we were finally in, and challenge number one was partially done. Let's go, guys and girls. We joined the clan. I think I want to go for the fireball. Always important to focus on those ones first. Boom, there we go. <laughs> we are the lowest member in the clan. Yo. Can I do clan war? Week three. We're in week three already? Oh, I gotta be king level 10 for clan war. So with that news, I decided it was a good time to go to sleep and come back for a strong push in the morning. But I wasn't able to get back online until 12 hours later, which meant we were already 17 hours in, still lower than 2,000 trophies, and we still had three and a half gold to achieve before the deadline. So we kicked off the next afternoon with some more trophy pushing, unlocking our first epic chest, and it was time to begin crafting our unique deck to eventually achieve goal number two. Yes, tower power is up. Let's go. I do want to use the goblin barrel. What level is my hog rider? Oh, level six hoggy. It's the same level as my giant. Let's get rid of the giant and go hog rider. So I can do clown wars now, right? This is my main deck so far in this account. I don't have the card levels for any more. Maybe a Pekka giant deck? Is that a thing? Oh man, this last deck is going to be pretty scuffed. We don't really have enough cards unlocked yet. We don't even have another win condition, I don't think. Actually, we, do I want to go mortar? I'm going to go a mortar wizard deck, dude. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> So let's just say building four different viable strategies in Clan Wars as a fresh free-to-play player is one of the most painful experiences in Clash Royale. And remember, we have to win at least one of these battles to complete our first objective. Otherwise, there's none of that time left over to wait for another day of war battles. And so with that, Clash Royale decided to do this. Oh, he's got a level 10 Pekka. Mine's level six. This is four levels higher than mine. Come on, Pekka. Come on, Pekka, get in the place. On. Oh, 127 HP. So we lost our first battle and then we lost the next one. And then the next one went like this. Dude, look at how little that damage is in the tower with the mortar shot. Dude, this guy's like on level 11 pack up. Oh my goodness, dude. My wizard didn't even kill his... <laughs> my wizard didn't even kill his minions. This is the free to play life. This is why I named this account free to pain. This is the pain. And that means that this is our last chance to complete our first goal. Upbringer, going in. Bomb barrel, going down. What do we get to that tower? Besides the, oh my goodness, look at that damage though. That was a little bit, that was a little bit. I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna be more than that, but I'm fine with it. I'll allow it. I will allow it. I kind of want to go in. Yo, those witches are putting, I have three witches down. How did I get three of them, dude? Okay. 
I'm vibing with this. The double witches go in. We destroy the tower left lane. And Valkyrie going down with the Hog Rider. And there we are. Winning our very first ever clan war battle on this account against a level 8 tower power. Which is only one level higher than mine now that we upgraded so much. And with that clan wars win, objective one is finally off of our list. But we still have three more. And we're already over 18 hours into our challenge. It's time to push the trophies. Here we are at 3,265 trophies on the final stretch towards Electro Valley and the infamous legendary chest at 3,500 trophies. And here is our new ladder deck, which I honestly think is a pretty unique creation. So I'm gonna mark off challenge number two as complete, at least for now. So let's add the countdown timer remaining to the overlay as we push on this final stretch against Nelson, who is a level 11. When I first got into Hog Mountain, I started instantly facing a lot of equally leveled opponents, which was strange, but a lot of them had like level 10 epic cards and level 10 rares. And all of a sudden, my level 6 Valkyrie, my level 7 Hog Rider, they were super weak, but we made a few changes. We got one more upgrade onto our Hog Rider up to level 8. We threw in the Prince instead of the Valkyrie, and I've honestly noticed a fairly substantial difference so far in the performance of this technical gun build over here, right lane. He's obviously rocking a 2.6 hog cycle. Prince goes in. Come on. Goblin stab. Go, go, go. Run, Prince. Oh, dude, so close. Go, Goblin build over here. Did we can bait out a response of the arrows, maybe? Fireball? No, okay, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, cool. And it seems our new and improved deck was working very well as we went undefeated on our push to Arena 11. But I forgot one major change that was recently made to Clash Royale. Oh, we need level 18 King Tower to get to Arena 11. All right, let's do some upgrades here. Poison's a good card to upgrade. Go Ball's a good spell. Level 18 upgrade. And there we are in Electro Valley. So... We have 89 trophies to the legendary chest. But we can't forget, I still have two more goals to complete before the deadline. So let's see how fast I can beat my first special event challenge. It feels so weird being level 11 after uh, all that time being level 9. Like, the cards are so much different, dude. Go baby turn here to splash that giant skeleton. Let's go one of these. Pull it back, please. Yes, sir. And then I think, honestly, we're going to go Skarmy here. Yes, let's, let's go. Let's go. Stop the, stop the giant skeleton. Hopper goes in. I already goes in. You that prince decimated the tower left lane. Go, baby, then go, go. Yes, we closed it all down. The chosen one choosing to give me this big fat W over here. Baby, is still alive. Goblin's going down, and the hog is still in there with the clone version. Oh, we cloned the hog Rider, though, but he also clones his mini pack up. But we do get one hog shot. The double prince is going in. Do we get the second prince charge into that tower? Yes, two princes charging for the price of one and a. Baby Dragon going down, Gotham Braille going in, and we secure a solid three crown on our very first special challenge battle. Good game, buddy. Well played. The first battle was a success, but we still needed seven more. And at three minutes apiece, that's minimum 21 minutes off of our clock, assuming we don't lose any battles. And I might have underestimated my last opponent. Oh, man, that Valkyrie, though, right lane. That Valkyrie, though, eh? Oh, my goodness, dude. I thought I did good with the baby dragon damage. Those Valkyries were insane, though, eh? We go hog here, eh? Could destroy that, uh, whatever it is, quite nicely. I passes the uh, goblins for one stab of Renos, and then we're going to go in. His barbell's on a rotation. We can go goblin over here. He's got no barbell in hand, so that goblin can destroy. That's 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 game. Oh, uh, I don't have anything with that goblin build. We did. That's a dead tower, my dudes. Go, goblins. Oh, baby dragons. Yes. Okay, probably here. Got me here. Let's go. That's it. That's it. That's game. Just barely holding on. Goblin's coming in and a Goblin Barrel can be survived for three seconds. Maybe it's not game. Maybe it's not. Oh, just barely holding on for our final victory in this challenge. Let's go. Yo, Alice. Good game, my friend. And what did we get for all this effort? Hey, Arena 11. Golden chest, which gives us... Just give me one prince. It's all I need to upgrade my prince right now. Bats. Tombstone. Knights. Please. I mean, Fireball I use, but... I I mean, okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. So challenge number three complete, and we now have less than 30 minutes to get that final legendary chest. Let's go in, boys and girls, this is it. These are our final few battles here before we get to the 3,500 trophies that we need for the guaranteed legendary chest. Thankfully, we're at the trophy floor right now, so if we lose this battle, we don't lose any trophies. Let's go Prince over here, right lane. I was gonna go Skarmy, but honestly, he's got Zaspel anyway, so that's good we didn't. 
That's good. Let's go. Arrow's here for this. Up, 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 up. Yes, destroys the E-Spirit. Allows the Witch to spawn some skeletons out. Distracts the P.E.K.K.A. Keeps the Witch alive, even though his Witch Lock's on and does a lot of tower damage. We should honestly be in the lead here once we go Goblin Barrel on this. Goblin Barrel, please. I need a lot of damage right now, my friends. Go hot rider here. Convert to a successful counter push, ideally. Come on, Witch. Survive, please, girl. Yes. Now destroy his skeletons, please. Get a few shots to that tower, please, Witch. Come on, skeletons tank. One witch shot, one more army. I'll take one. It's better than zero. One is greater than zero. So I'm fine with that. If we go in, oh, we got a balloon. Yo, what? But not have free spell, please. Game, please game, please game, please game. A fireball here. Ooh, just barely. That witch though, eh? Hmm. I'm gonna go witch here. I know he's got Zaz Bolt in the hand, so if they go witch, we force out a Zaz Bolt, then we can go skeleton army afterwards. Yeah, see? Then we go skeleton army here. Ah, you nice fireball, buddy. Nice fireball, buddy. It's not enough, though. It's not gonna be enough. Yo, okay, Witch and a Gobbrill here. There's no way he stops this. He doesn't even have the answer in hand. Even the Esports not enough, because the Hawk just goes in there, just destroys the tower. Tower should go down. There we go. There we go. 11 HP remaining on our first victory inside of Electro Valley. How many more do we need to get to the legendary chest? This is why I didn't use the pack up. The pack up is just not very good in the lower ladders. There's too many skeletons going around. There's too many witches and just ultimate swarm decks. The P.E.K.K.A. is just not viable mid to lower ladders, in my opinion. Catch him, Ash. Good game, my friend. Well played. And one more fast victory against Richard. And here we are. 3,470. And we just got 25 gems. And now I think we're one battle away from that guaranteed legendary chest. If I lose this battle, I don't know if I have enough time to get back in and get that chest guaranteed because we are running out of time on the clock. Let's go a witch over here, left side of the arena. Luis, please don't have Mega Knight. Please don't have Mega Knight. Please don't have Mega Knight. Okay, let's go Vaporing here. Oh, it is the level 11 Mega Knight again. It's the level 11 Mega Knight again. Broski, it literally just unlocked. It literally, you're at 3,500 trophies. It literally just unlocked. How do you have it level 11, dude? Yo, bonk. We're gonna go arrows here too, dude. Oh, that's just gonna jump, right? Please, Mega Knight, no. No, no, not like this, dude. Not like this, dude. Oh my goodness, that's so much damage. My Fireball level seven doesn't even kill his barbarians. Okay, all right. Surprise. Oh, Goblin Giant, where did you come from, buddy? Yo, what? Okay, Scarby destroy, please. Oh, no damage done. Yo, how do we stop that? Oh my goodness, bro. Go Goblin back here. Or somebody, he's gonna go Mega Knight right now. Oh, he does not. Fireball here's value. Fireball here's value. Come on. There we go. We the goblin stab away. We destroy the witch. Please, witch, 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 witch battle the witches. <gasps> the witch battle. Yes. Ours wins. He fumbles the prince. We destroy the, the hog rider. Hog rider up front here. If he goes Mega Knight, we're toasted. We're dead. And we're roasted. Come on. No. Hog rider, one shot. Give me two, please. Two shots. Ah, dude, I'm trying so hard. Oh, if he goes hog rider here, we're toasted, right? We can't do anything for this, right? The witch here. I need to get my hog rider down. I got my 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 prince just dies so fast. It dies so fast. Hog rider, no, please, no, no, hog rider, why? This is so high. I I I I can't do anything. I can't. With that loss, we have zero spare time. We have to win this next battle, or we delete the account and we start all over. This is it. Here we are again. One more win. Please, Clash Royale. No more Kryptonite. Yes, what do you got? Just don't have level 11 Mega Knight, please. Don't have level 11 Mega Knight. I just don't understand it. We literally got to the arena where Mega Knight just became available. How do you have a level 11? All right. All right. Crypto. Go Fireball here, please. Boom. Knocks the witch back. Yo, okay. We might have a nice little counter push going on. Baby Dragon goes in. He's gonna go. Infernal Dragon. Okay. I can deal with the Infernal Dragon. That's way better for me than it is a uh, Mega Knight. Because the Mega Knight counters are dead. The witch is doing so much damage. Go, witch, go. Yo, thank you, witch. Oh, no. He probably has what I don't want him to have. Zap, right? No, he's got a bar barrel. Okay. Well, my friends, that prince is dead. Dude. My level 7 prince. Ah! Yes! Dude, okay. Oh, my poor little level 7 prince just absolutely got devoured. Let's go Hogwarts over here. This is the this is a bad idea, by the way. Typically, when you are facing a substantially higher level opponent, you don't want to play too aggressive. You have to use your towers to your advantage. Both of our towers are flawless so far. This might be it. Baby Dragon goes in, destroys the tower, and we have a one crown lead. But can it defend for one more minute and secure this victory? Oh no. 
his dual lane pressure coming in here. Which right lane? And a P.E.K.K.A. left side. I have nothing for his P.E.K.K.A. here, my dudes. Wait for the barbell to go down first. Let me go. He's got the armor once the wizard's distracted. Oh, but we missed the Goblin Barrel. That Goblin Barrel's gonna do damage. It's level 10. It's a level 10 Goblin Barrel's gonna do a ton of damage. Dude, look at that. Oh, that's half my, that's half my tower. 15 more seconds. We had the legendary chest. 15 more seconds. We did not have any time to afford to lose this battle. Three, two, one. Yes, victory is ours. Nine minutes remaining on our clock. And what do we have? There we are, baby. Legendary chest. Boom, collect my reward. Let's stop the timer, first of all. We beat the challenge now. What do we have? What do we have? Mega Knight, Mega Knight, Mega Knight. Please, Mega Knight. Subscribe if you want to follow my journey on this free-to-play account. Next episode is our one-week progress.